Hey guys, what's up Taurus? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. It's going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. Keep in mind that the energies can go either way. So it could be your energy or the energy of a person that you're dealing with. So it's what's why we're hiding you too. I don't know what's going on here. The Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. There's a difficult ending to something. Um, and someone is, is feeling like, damn, they're being held back. It could have even been someone withheld some money, but somebody's feeling go ghost of, blah, blah, blah. lonely, ghosted. I don't know what that's about. All right, let's see. Taurus, immediate future. So, like I was saying, flip flop the energies like you need to. It could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with. Also, keep in mind it's a general reading. So, take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If it does resonate with you today, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. All right, Taurus, what's coming up? Oh, yeah. All right, let's see. Immediate future for Taurus, please. Too many. Immediate future, thank you. All right. Yeah, somebody is stressed like crazy. Probably this King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy wants to say something. Um, but the King of Swords can, you know, he's a logical thinker. So I'm assuming it's his stress, even if you're not dealing with a air sign. Show me um, this three cups for Taurus. There's no numbers to break down, but there's a lot of stress right in the middle of it. Capricorn energy with the devil. So there could have been a reconciliation. Um, the devil is a toxic like situation or it could have been like lustful with the three of cups there. There could have been another energy or some lies around it. Talking about the devil. Virgo energy, then the devil and the hermit. Clarify the hermit. Okay, wow. Somebody has been you're dealing with an emperor here. It could be anyone. We have three kings out here. I feel like the devil is coming in because it's... But the king of pentacles there, I'm not even going off energy. There's like a sense of someone stressing because it's almost like they don't know which way to go to approach the situation. With the hermit there, they've been trying to figure it out. Someone could have been drinking a lot or something like that lately. It could be like a, a just a toxic situation, but I also feel like without, like I was saying, without even like thinking about the energies, like somebody has kind of been lying to themselves emotionally. Um, at the same time, there could have been greed involved. You're definitely dealing with the emperor. And someone's been trying to figure out how to proceed here. How to move forward. Six of Cups, you could have chosen with this person. But this is trying to figure out how to come back around. Like almost, um... That's how, that's, I mean, how, trying to figure out how to proceed. With the Six of Cups, this is somebody from your past. It could be... You know, a childhood friend. It could just be a friend in general with the Three of Cups here. It doesn't necessarily have to be um, a love situation. But this, at one point, for some reason, the devil's there. So in some way, it was, you know, there could have been an attachment. But I really kind of feel like somebody's been also... Um, almost like self-sabotaging. Show me this nine of swords. Why are they stressing so bad? It could be for a number of reasons with all these kings out here. 
Show me this nine, nine of swords for Taurus. This could be you or them. One card, please. There's an uncertainty to what's going on here. With the star here, Aquarius and Sagittarius energy, it's like... The star is wanting, like, still holding on to the fact, or, like, wanting to rebuild this because they see it as their wish. But there's been some indecisiveness here, kind of up in the air. With the temperance here, it's kind of just about going with the flow here. Somebody is very much attached to something. The four of pentacles and the star, and I feel like that's you. But for some reason, they're so up in the air I, and it's like kind of even if they're there it's like they're not there like kind of held back but definitely wanting to talk wanting to reach out this is someone that you heal from but never let go of and that's probably where the the, the double kind of energy comes in because of the thing you know that we are that we can feel chained to or vice versa So maybe things have kind of just been up in the air and decisive. Because there's a hold back, but at the same time, there's definitely a hold it. Like, still very much holding on to this. To the point that somebody's losing sleep around it. Show me this outcome. You have the King of Swords and the Knight of Swords. So it's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This is a very logical, strategic planner. The King is the King. And then the knight is like the action of the king. So that's that, like um, the king coming forward. Like, I hope that makes sense. Like the knight is the action. Yeah, the eight of swords and the fool. There's definitely communication coming in here. It's like they're, with the fool, somebody's feeling optimistic going forward. And it's like this king actually getting up and moving. Communicating, reaching out. Because there's been a period of worry anxiety and drawback like trying to find that path how to get back around show me this eight of wands for taurus what is this communication about the moon pisces energy there could be some things revealed to you with the moon that's all about things that are hidden what is this moon what's hidden it almost feels like emotions could be hidden here. The Knight of Pentacles, so there could be an offer here. Gemini energy with the lovers. The Knight of Pentacles is a solid offer, but um, so let's move a knight in the deck. The Tower, the Magician, and the Eight of Swords. So it kind of, somebody's making something happen here. It's like they're finally coming forward with that communication. You may not see it yet. Um... Definitely here, they're here to manifest here. They're trying to, you know, there's a, there's a, a change here. Um, and it may really catch you off guard with the tower. It could just pop up out of the blue. But again, with the eight of swords and then here for the obstacle, we have the nine of swords. Somebody is really nervous. And that's why it's coming in as the king of swords. You could be dealing with the air sign, but it's also, like I was saying, a strategic, logical place. So I also feel like kind of emotions are, are hidden here with this moon, but... This person's nervous about approaching you and nervous in the mindset of overthinking it, um, putting yourself in like self imprisonment of the thoughts, anxiety, worries, fears that aren't necessarily true. And it's like this person is worried that, you know, because they're very attached. Somebody is very attached and would like to talk. But even if it has been communication is because we do have healing so you may not have been you know somebody kind of up in the air trying to figure things out um but still a huge attachment to this not letting go of it at all so they're coming in strategically there is communication here it catches you off guard but they go ahead and make it and it looks like there's an offer here and someone is trying to manifest something solid the lovers is here so gemini energy um but there is some nervousness around approaching this. They're in a very logical state of mind. Very worried. 
you are dealing with the emperor and I feel like that's a self-sabotage um kind of energy because it's like trying to pull out all these different sides but it's coming off as logic you have the nine of pentacles and the four of wands so there's a lot of abundance and stability around you with the nine of pentacles um you're very good on your own you're very successful you know your work very grounded energy so that could be what makes them nervous as well or vice versa maybe it makes you nervous uh in regards to them so all right Taurus. I hope this helps. I hope this resonated. Um, and so please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Oh, okay. They're nervous. You're going to reject their offer as well. Possibly. But yeah, there's the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Cups. So this is your wish. And the star is here. So it's been your wish. With the nine of pentacles, knight of pentacles, possibly a long time coming though, but there's a slow through the night in the deck. So, all right, Taurus, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.